Today we have uh, Rod Vitito here. Rodney, welcome to Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop. Thank you, Doug. And uh, Rodney commissioned us to build him a uh, Revolutionary War uh, pack carriage. So they wanted a light carriage piece that they could carry easily through these uh, backwoods to chase the uh, American Revolutionary. And what ended up happening is the British made thousands of these cannons just like this, and during the process of chasing the Americans, the Americans would snipe at them and they they would retreat and leave their cannons and the Americans would take the oh, cannons so and then turn the cannons on them and use them. So that's that's what was happening. It on so they called okay. the they called the carriage the grasshopper because it could it could hop around. It could be okay. easily moved around. All right. How did you hear about Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop? How did you well, come to find us? Uh, when I when I investigated a cannon tube. I went to mm -hmm. South Bend Replicas. Okay, uh, Paul Barnett. Paul Barnett. Yep. Happens to be about an hour and a half from where I live in Valparais. Mm -hmm. I picked out this tube. I don't know, I kind of fell in love with this yeah. tube. And he and I talked about a carriage builder. And we talked about a naval carriage. Some mm -hmm. of this was put on smaller ships oh, for naval sure. carriage, but also for field guns. Mm -hmm. And I decided that uh, I thought that the uh, field carriage was a much more aesthetically appealing carriage. Mm -hmm. So I asked Paul for suggestions on carriage builders and he gave me uh, a name of one or two or two or three rather. Yeah. And then I got I got on the internet and found six or eight. Oh yeah. And I literally <laughs> called every one of them and talked yeah. to them about their carriages and how they build their carriages. Mm -hmm. What they what do they use for drawings or specs? Mm -hmm. Have they ever heard of a Verbruggen cannon? And uh, there were, out of eight people I talked to throughout the United mm -hmm. States, uh, you and one other company happened to be uh, the most knowledgeable about mm -hmm. this cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I got into the construct construction of the carriage itself, uh, I felt that, uh, through talking with you, that you had the most uh, original and authentic approach mm -hmm. in constructing the, the carriage. And that's, okay. that's what I was looking for. Well, the, the thing that, that uh, we found out just through our years of, of uh, building replicas is um, located out here in a, in a cow pasture in South Dakota mm -hmm. we have uh, become very self-sufficient and so we become to we, we rely on our own inner resources and study um, and and so we're we're a inclusive all-inclusive uh, shop you know we have the wheelwright the blacksmith the painter the woodworker you know and it, it's helped us to really grasp and understand the entire process. Well, I tell you, and, you, and when you explain that to me over over the telephone, that's yeah. when I actually decided to go with you. Sent me uh, some photographs of some of your uh, of previous work, and mm -hmm. it looked it looked awfully fantastic. So, well, thank I you. thought I, my personal thought was, if you did half as good for me as you did for them, I'd be happy. What do you think when you first saw it this morning? Oh, it's beautiful. I think it's the <laughs> yeah. you know it's just a beautiful piece of work. I look at it like artwork that happens to be functional. Yeah, there you go. Well, I like I mentioned to you earlier, Rodney the. When we got done building this cannon carriage, we were so impressed with the, just the size of it and the, the style of it that uh, we ordered a barrel from Paul too, and, and we have in the works a, a carriage for the shop. So well, someday nice. we hope to have uh, have one like this as well. Have a so. sister for it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, this so. one's name is Ginger. Don't take that name. Oh, this is Ginger. Okay. <laughs> we haven't come up with a name yet. So. <laughs> But anyway, Rodney, on behalf of uh, myself and all the all of us here at Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop, we want to thank you for your business and well, and thank you for coming out here today and uh, well, and uh, putting on a demonstration well, for us. Well, we certainly look so. forward to coming out here, meeting you yeah. folks in person, and it's been great. And you've done a fantastic job. I would highly recommend you to uh, anybody uh, that doesn't think I'm crazy for having a can. <laughs> yeah. All right.